Hey guys, I want to make a quick video um, about my pool overflow drain. Uh, after this video, you're going to see my first attempt at this, which I really wasn't too happy about. Um, but I designed this overflow drain to basically be automatic, to where once the pool reached a certain level, you wouldn't have to worry about uh, opening or closing a valve, and it wouldn't produce a siphon effect. So I'll kind of go along with it. So this part right here, or this section, is coming from the pool. The reason you have an up pipe is you kind of see the water level there. That correlates with where the water is in the pool right now as it relates to the skimmer. Um, since this is a fiberglass pool, the, uh, the skimmer is tilted downward. On the back of the, the skimmer, there is a hole which serves as an overflow valve. <laughs> Not a lot of people do it, but that is what this hole right here is for, to where if it rains or your pool gets full of water, uh, it has a way to get out. So in my first video, or my first attempt to do this, uh, you basically saw a variation of this guy right here. Uh, I had a way to break the siphon, but I really didn't have a way, an easy way to cut it off. We just built our house, and the cutoff valve was way down here. And imagine having no grass in the pouring rain and having to get to that cutoff valve. I slipped and fell and busted my ass a couple times. So if you do this, do it up here. Cut off valve right here and have a way to prevent a siphon effect at the open end. So I glued all the top pieces together. Um, so one of the things I did is you'll see a coupling down there on both sides. That'll bring my water level up uh, if I want to uh, another inch before it kind of naturally flows and goes in. But I think this will be a much better design, um, you know, than my original one. And like I said, I always encourage you to put a cutoff. That way, if for whatever reason, just in the short term, you want to raise your water level, you can. But if you want to, you can open it back up. Um, if you are building a pool or if you are uh, in the process uh, stay tuned for the follow-up video that I'm going to merge right after this. You can kind of see how this whole process works. I don't know what process of water hydraulics this process is. It's kind of like a, a sight glass in a boiler as best I can say it. But I glued all that together. I left those couplings apart so during the summertime months I can raise the pool level up a little bit higher on the skimmer. During the wintertime I can take those off and kind of have it be halfway down. And like I said, the valve's there just in case I want to temporarily raise it or or lower the, the water. And huh, I got something in there. That's a small little frog. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I after much pain and suffering and tinkering, I think this will be a much better valve. And uh, like I said, feel free to leave your comments. And as always, I don't do this for YouTube profit, so I don't really care if you like or subscribe. Anyway, hope it helps somebody else out there. Hey guys, looked like uh, my theory here worked. Um, so the way you want to do this, you can kind of see water flowing in there. Uh, it's too much, obviously, it's, it's working. Um, so the way you want to work, this pipe right here, you want to cut long. Uh, that way you can see what level, uh, when you fill up your, your pool with water, what level it needs to be at the skimmer. And then at that rate, you know uh, how much pipe you need to cut to come over back down into your drain valve. So, see over here, it's definitely coming out with some force. <laughs> so it looks like everything's going good. Um, I may put a valve right here in case for whatever reason I want to go beyond that line to drain to the bottom of the skimmer uh, because that way the siphon will be in effect and uh, you simply close the valve and you can drain even more out than what you normally want to have in your overflow valve. So anyway guys, just wanted to show you um, how this whole principle operation works. So it comes in here. There's a hole in the back for an overflow valve, but because it comes down at an angle, you can't get the angle just right because it's a fiberglass pool. So that uh, original line is going to be pretty low, 
and it's, it's going to be dangerously low for your skimmer and your pump. So again, this is how I overcame that. And it's a very, very, very simple, easy fix. And uh, me and my pool guy, Mike, um, you know, basically thought of this together. And I just kind of decided to go for it. I'm not a plumber, but I can cut some PVC pipe. <laughs> See how it would work. And so far, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. All right. Appreciate it.